Luigi. I really wish more people played this game, honestly. Only four people in a lobby and it's like Friday, 4 p.m. I also don't believe people don't want to play this game. It's just that it's hard to get the mods. Well, it's not hard and it doesn't have to be hard, but if you're new to modding and stuff, it might be a bit difficult or it might look difficult because I was new myself as well. I'm not sure how I got these mods. Like, I'm still surprised to this day. I do think it would be sick to actually get full lobbies again, though. Maybe someday, you know. I certainly doubt it, though, honestly. Like, just a number of people that don't even know this exists. It's super huge and that actually surprised me but there are loads of people out there that don't know this exists and it's kind of sad. I should totally upload this game myself more as well. It's one of my favorite video games of all time and I barely even upload it on the channel. It's crazy. Hopefully we will get some more people in this lobby though soon. Anyways, welcome to the video guys. I'm Yai. Today we're gonna play- oh my god no. I, I just don't want to say anything anymore. Thunderclouds dude. I'm not sure what I think about Thunderclouds to be honest with you. Like I honestly wouldn't even mind seeing a Thundercloud in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And there is coming DLC for that game so maybe they'll add more items. I would not mind it whatsoever to be honest with you. Same with the Mega Mushroom actually but the thing I was thinking about is right. What if they actually changed the Thundercloud and made it so that there's a 50-50 chance of you getting small or big. That'd be hilarious and so dumb as well. I actually wanted to talk about some Mario Kart Deluxe DLC in this video but I was like. You know I already uploaded it yesterday and it's got to feels right after I uploaded the video. So I was like, dang dude, like, I didn't want to make it another video. Well, I probably will, but just not today, so. I'll most likely make a video on that somewhere next week. Oh, not again though. He passed it over as well. I've got some great ideas for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. Just know it, okay? I've been begging for that ever since I got the game. But I'll talk about that more in the next Mario Kart 8 Deluxe video though, very, very soon. Also, is the 1v1? It just said that five people were racing. There's not five people though. Come on, man. It's already. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> he went out of his way as well. All I'm saying is that the gameplay is already boring enough as it is. I need more people to compete with. Wait, there were four. <laughs> there were four people racing. Where were they though? They must have disconnected. Then I think. Let me just quit this. I know out of experience that there are usually more people racing on regular tracks. There you go. So don't mind if I do. And to make it a bit more interesting, I'm actually gonna use Bowser on the space. <laughs> okay, here we go. By the way, shout out to Doggy for this uh, texture. If I don't forget, I'll put the texture link in the description. You can click on that. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about today <laughs> is how many batteries... Batteries? Batteries. How many batteries I waste on a... I want to say weekly basis? No, no, no. How many batteries are waste on a monthly basis? Oh, come on, no. So I don't really use batteries whatsoever, okay? I'm not really a huge battery fan. I don't really use products that need batteries as well. There's one thing though, there's one... One thing where I use batteries for and it's a Wiimote. And I hate the Wiimote myself, honestly. I never use it. That's the dumb thing. That's why I waste the batteries. Oh, let's go. That's gonna help me out quite a lot here. Only reason I use batteries, and this is no joke here, okay? The only reason why I use batteries is to, like, when you open your Wii, you gotta, you know, click on a game. So, in order for me to click on the market Wii custom tracks, I gotta do it with my Wii mode. Everything else I can just do with my GameCube controller. You just can't scroll on the Wii menu. But that's only, like, once or twice a month, like, one minute maximum. So, how do you waste batteries doing that? Well, while your Wii is off... The Wiimote still uses batteries somehow. I play this game once or twice a month, right? I don't play it enough, I know, but... Once I go back after not playing it for a while, I always realize that my Wiimote is empty, even though the last time I played it, I... I got some new batteries. Which means that this stupid thing wastes all my batteries. I literally spent like four batteries. Like, look at this. I spent four of these batteries a month on this thing while I don't even use to play games with. And I obviously think that's dumb, right? Why would you waste batteries on a controller you only use to use another controller? Ah, there must be an alternative. Oh, look at this, another texture mod. I've been putting a few in there, you see? These aren't mine though, I'm not sure who made this, but again, if I, if I think about it, I'll put the download link in the description as well. But I don't feel like you should waste batteries if there's another option, but... Is there another option? I was looking into some mods, like I was trying to actually get my GameCube controller to work on the Wii menu, but I couldn't find anything. Oh, not again though. Come on, there you go. Get him out of here, dude. Get him out of here. And I literally couldn't find anything about it. Like, no one else has this problem, I don't think, which surprised me. Well, it really doesn't though. I know a lot of people actually use the Wii Pro controller, which is... That basically takes battery swap, because you gotta plug it into your Wii mode for some reason. And then it uses batteries. Luckily, Nintendo these days use less batteries. They use chargeable things. And the good thing about the game controller is, even though it's very old as a controller, it doesn't use any batteries. You can just plug it in. That's what I like about wired controllers. Instead of just have wires all over the place, then 
having to replace batteries every single day, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, every day might be a bit of an overstatement, but you know what I'm saying, okay? It just doesn't really help you. We're literally gonna have a shortage of batteries in this house soon. If I don't find an alternative, that's how bad it is. Now, I've been thinking about some solutions though, other than trying to find some mods. But the first thing I actually thought of is just removing the batteries of the use in the controller for like one minute. And it doesn't really sound that difficult. I'm burning out as well. I've been playing too much Mario Kart 8 Deluxe over this game, it's bad. It sounds like a very doable thing, right? And it should be as well, but the thing kind of is, I know of myself that I'll lose the batteries in my room. <laughs> Dang, I'm yo, I see you. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. This is literally one of my favorite tracks used in the torpedo or the spear. It depends where you're from. Most of you are from the USA. I should probably just call it the spear for the rest of my videos, but no. Oh my god, look at that done. <laughs> I gotta stay true to my European voice. Anyways, I just don't think it's worth losing the batteries while I can use them as well. Even though I don't use them. But if I want to, at least I got batteries then. It's just very stupid, okay? That's usually what it comes down to in my videos. It's just all very, very dumb. Ooh! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Also, the fact that people listen to me talk about batteries for a few minutes, it really makes my day, okay? Freaking love Bowser as well. He's my favorite heavyweight in this whole game. He's usually my favorite heavyweight in, like, Mario Kart in general, though. I don't really have to do too much with Rosalina and myself, personally. I don't think she's bad, though. I just... Okay. I just prefer Bowser, okay? He's my boy. Come on, dude. This horrible as so... well. Like, no joke. I usually don't do this bad in this track. Like... <laughs> I know my gameplay always kind of sucks, but it's really not that bad though. If you guys got any ideas of how I can, okay, no, I'm not driving into a banana there, but if you guys have any solutions for my problem with batteries, leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to try one out. I'm in desperate need of better ways to control my battery usage. Mushroom Gorge, do I have text for this as well? I might actually have some installed. Yes, there you go. Look at all these textures though. Okay, that's not bad though. Yeah, I always try to put better textures in or at least equal textures of the original ones in the game. I know the Mushroom Gorge one is kind of all over the place, but I do think all of these look very, very good. And for the people unaware, all it does is just change the colors of the track. It doesn't really add anything. Nothing gameplay-wise. Okay. I just always feel like the textures kind of give personality to the game. It's just... The customization I kind of missed in the older games. Right? Mario Kart Deluxe, for example, I don't really like the gameplay of that game. At least you can, like, actually select your card and mix that up. I liked it a lot about that game. But just the fact that you can make your own textures and put them in game. I know these aren't my textures, but I've been still working on the Funky Kong texture. And, of course, the Galaxy Peach, which I already released. You saw that at the start of the video, though. You know, the texture, the Galaxy Peach one. If you're wondering why there's no texture for Bowser that I'm using, it's just because I've couldn't find any good ones. I was trying to find the Bowser files as well myself, but I just couldn't find them as well. I can't really dump the game, but well, I could, but I don't know how to actually dump all the files. I would totally love to make a Bowser texture myself, though, like... Oh, man, I already got some ideas, so I would love to actually use those. Let me see, can I do a game jump? I have bad experiences doing this. Oh, that's my very first time doing the game jump with the bike. Let's go, dude. Man, I'm making some moves on this game, so I'm improving still. Dang, dude, that made me very happy right there. That's gonna do it for this video, though. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure you leave a like down below and also subscribe for more. More good wee videos on the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Enjoy your stay.